S2 meteorologist Craig Herrera is live in the mobile weather lab in Santa Clarita. Tell us why this is happening. Craig. Hey there, Pat and Rick. Yeah, we came out to Santa Clarita. Temperature out here about 85 degrees. Thankfully, not as hot as it has been. Relative humidity coming up to about 26%. We've seen this in the teens. Wind speed has been mostly out of the southwest, anywhere from about uh, 8 to 15 miles per hour. Off in the distance here, though, you can see the charred hillsides. Uh, this is from the Placerito fire started on Sunday. Right across the 14, there's more of the charred hillsides. And, of course, right next to it, some homes and a lot of green that didn't quite burn. But after the winter that we had, we all knew this time was coming. Flames and burn hillsides in Santa Clarita. This summer, we're really concerned. Water drop after water drop. We had an above average rainfall, so we have a grass crop throughout the county of Los Angeles. Low visibility on our freeways from smoke. We're going to experience extreme fire behavior. Images we'll probably see a lot of this summer. And we just got out of a five year drought, so we have five years of dead fuel. And this is before the Santa Ana winds. The Placerita fire is just an example of that, where I grew over 800, almost 800 acres in a few hours. The hill fire east of Santa Margarita in San Luis Obispo County has burned more than 1,600 acres. The Manzanita fire south of Beaumont, more than 6,000 acres. Evacuations are still in place. Drone Force 2 flew near brand new homes in Santa Clarita, safe from the flames. There are a lot of new housing developments with only one way in and one way out. If you live in a community like that, don't wait for the firefighters to say evacuate. We want you to leave and let firefighters do their jobs. So we want people to pre-identify evacuation routes prior to the incident. Have a plan and a checklist. If you need to evacuate, remember your personal papers, medications, pets and pet food, clothes and toiletries. And if the sheriff deputies or local law enforcement say evacuate, please evacuate. All right, and Rick and Pat, there are 173 fire stations around the county of Los Angeles alone. With the big holiday weekend coming up for 4th of July, they plan to have 500 extra people on staff. Back to you. And they will need them. Thank you so much, Craig.